YouTube, what's the word? I'm back. You guys mad? So where's the game plays? Where the game plays? Where the game plays? Well, haven't been playing that much Madden this weekend. I was actually away, but I got back on the sticks today. So, you know, I want to just show you guys this is salary cap. Everybody's grinding to go ahead and try to get in their clubs, and I want to steal some juice. So if you don't want to get caught searching, make sure you check out my Twitch live. Know when I'm searching, you can check that out. The link below is twitch.tv slash dub dot. Hopefully most of you guys have checked me out playing live before. Any offense or defense that you see here, you can find at Matt and Turf. That link below for both of my ebooks. And you can get a premium membership on Matt and Turf and get everything I drop all year. This is just regular salary cap. Leaderboards, I'm playing a uh, guy with a Seattle Seahawks jersey, uh, DC Croft, I think. And uh, he, he started with, he's in New England playbook. I mean, I think everybody now is going to pretty much be in New England. It's probably the best offensive playbook in the game so far. So you guys, I mean, obviously you guys got to check that out. I'm thinking about doing another ebook using New England because it's that good. But right now I'm in my Saints offense and Detroit Lions defense. Here goes, throw a little underneath pass here. I, it's my first game of Madden in a couple weeks, so I'm, or a couple days at least. So my user's a little bad right there, and he's able to pick up some runs over there, on, or some yards on the run there. The new patch has made the run a lot better, man. Comment below if you think the, the run is better after the patch or how you feel about the patch. The last one, I think the run is a lot better. You know, so that's something I don't like. As you guys know, I'm a passer. And right now, he's going down the field pretty easily, but I got to hold him to three. That's what it's about. We actually get Khalil Mack right there or Clowney, one or the other. I have Clowney and Khalil Mack right now on my salary cap team. Mack is a dog. He's just fast and 40 cap. I think it's the full maxed out Khalil Mack I have on my team in this game. And, and I give up three points the first drive. That's okay. I, f I felt him. I held him, held him to three inside the 10-yard line. He went up the field fairly easily, but we're going to go ahead and make a couple adjustments, maybe bring a little more pressure, uh, things of that nature. But giving up three is not bad on your first drive. I think really, I mean, the key is to not give up a touchdown, make him work, make him show a lot of his plays. That's the key. You want to know all the little plays they have in their arsenal so you can adjust them accordingly. And he probably took, a, I want to say, six or seven plays to go down the field, held him to three. That's okay. I get ball at half. That's kind of like a built-in turnover, so we feel good here. Obviously, he's in the nation's 3-3-5 odd. Now, this guy ran 3-3-5 odd a lot different than most people. He was really adjusty, manned up a lot of people, and you see a little cross man on my solo wide receiver. He actually only rushed three there. You know, he's going to do that throughout the game, and it's something where I got to get used to. I mean, most people you see that are going to run 3-3-5 odd are going to blitz a lot at you, but this guy really mixed it up well. He really, I mean, cross manned a lot of people, rushed three. And that's how you that make him, I mean, make Michael Vick be a weapon for you. He actually gets a sack there by Jabal Sheard. Gets me to a big third and long. Able to hit this comeback route. Dorsett jumped in front of Champ Bailey, I think, there. Actually, I didn't like that throw, but I'll take it there. And once again, when he's dropping this many people, you have to make Vick become a weapon. He's a must-have, even when people are blitzing you. In some games, I don't even scramble with him, but you need him just to be a weapon. There we go. Just dump it off the Gurley on a delay route. Spin move. Gurley is... Probably my best passing option. It's crazy to think that, but he really is such a weapon for me. I can't run for anything, no matter what the pass is. I can't run, and once again, I cannot block Vita Vita V V V V. I can't block him. That guy's just an animal against me. You guys watch my videos, you know I think he's the best defensive tackle in the game. I don't have him. I don't know why, because when I put him on a team, he doesn't want to play for me. But against me, Vita Vita V is a goon. So we tie the game. Two minutes and 20 seconds left. Got to hold him here. This is a big drive. Make sure I get some, uh, get a stop here. He throws the comeback route. Boom. Nice read. Pat Pete was close to that one. We'll come back to Pat Pete being close to comebacks. Here I go blow up the power over there with Troy Apke, the best player in Madden 19. There he goes. But I tell you, Khalil Mack, that's that speed. Get a little bit of pressure off the edge. Once he disengages so fast, we'll get the quarterback back-to-back -back plays. Khalil Mack, huge for me. I mean, I didn't, I'm not saying I played great defense. Khalil Mack pretty much made that stop for me, and that's huge. Be able to get the ball right here, and I get ball at half, so I'm feeling good right now. Have a touchdown here, but who? guess who? The fat guy with the with the ponytail, mohawk, whatever he's got going on. Vita Vida gets to me. Go ahead, dump it off the girl. Let's just try to get out of bounds. Good tackle by him. Make a shot and go out of, out, out of bounds, but I have plenty of time here. Once again, there he is, Gurley. I think he tried to man him up with Suggs right there, and he just ran right by him. Move to the right a little bit in the pocket. Once again, hit girly again. Spin so I stay in bounds. That's why I spun right there. If I would have kept going, it would have been hard to get upfield. That's the best thing about the spin move, man. It gets you up the field really quickly. And here's a great play. I just kind of bluff, scramble, 
get him to stop guarding across the round, come after Vic. I'm going to show you that you guys that play again. Come here, drop here. I mean, he only rushes three, so Vic is still a weapon. This is why Vic is such a weapon. Just bluff scramble. He's going to run after the quarterback, pull back up, hit Tyreek Hill for a big play because you don't really want to scramble. You want to get the ball to your super playmakers, but you have to use Vic as a weapon. That's what I did right there. Once again, Vita Vita just grabs me. He's calling timeouts for me. That's fine. I should have all day here. Right now, he's got me, though. He rushes three. I didn't like what I saw. I didn't have nobody open. And Jabal Shear gets me. He calls timeout. We're going to go ahead and look, a little curl routes. Let's see if Tyreek Hill can grab one for me. In traffic, whew, tough drop. I mean, it would have been a tough, tough catch for Tyreek Hill. But that's what I pay him for. Actually, I pay him for his speed. I don't pay him to catch in traffic. Maybe I need somebody like Julio, Antonio Brown, or I mean, who, Tim Brown, Jerry Rice. Somebody catch the ball in traffic a little bit better than Tyreek Hill. But he'll got to play because of his speed. Here he goes hitting a little slant route. Just right here, I can't let him get out of bounds. Six seconds is the only thing. I got two flat routes on either side. He's got nothing to go out of bounds. Nothing really to throw to there. Just trying to make a play with Vic. Just now we got to tackle. Just I don't know. I let the computer get on right here. I'm not clicking on anybody. Just tackle him. That's fine. Up three points. I get the ball at half. If I can go get seven here, that's huge. That's going to give me that two score lead. We all want in Madden. Four minute quarters. Hopefully, I can take some time and go get seven. Man, 13 to 3 feels really good, and I feel really comfortable against this guy, especially the way Khalil Mack is playing for me. Once again, Gurley. <laughs> Gurley's my kick returner, my pass catcher. He's pretty much everything for my team. He screams at me the first play out of the half. Try to set a tone. I did have that post again for a big play. Then next play, he rushes three again. So I'm going to hold my water. I'm going to stand in the pocket. I'm going to find somebody. And you already know who I'm going to find. Mr. Gurley off the sideline. Big catch right there. I mean, catching kind of in traffic for a running back. Boom, Dorsett underneath with the slant right in front of Champ Bailey. Philip Dorsett is my pretty much my only budget player on offense. Everybody else is a goon. But Philip Dorsett's pretty much a goon too. There you see him there just running by Darius Slay. Because, I mean, this guy, like I said, this guy was cross manning a bunch of people trying hard to, to find the right combination of def defense and, and, man and adjustments to stop me. But just mix up your play as well. Your, use your quarterback well. There we go. Boom. Right down the field. Curl route there. He shaded underneath. Throw that curl route was way open and throw the high ball to him. So, like I said, that 13-3 is feeling really good right now. Clowny off the edge, but he's able to throw underneath. And I am just make a terrible tackle right there with Patrick Peterson. Steve Smith's able to get a nice chunk of yards there. Play the run. There go more block shedding. And we talked about it all the time. The safety's playing against the run. Pat Pete playing against the comeback route. There's not a player I endorse in Madden more than Pat Pete as far as an option. I feel like Vic is not an option. He needs to be on every team. But Pat Pete is optional. You guys don't want him. I love Patrick Peterson. He has an emote in my chat. He's an outstanding player for me. He, I mean, he's just, I love Pat Pete. And he makes a huge play right there, being able to dive, reach, and pick off that comeback route. Now I just want to take some time off the clock. <laughs> Tevin Coleman getting a little, <laughs> that's base Tevin Coleman, getting a little fat jukes right there. I'm going to run a comeback route on my own right here. My timing is just a little bit off, a little bit early. It allows it to get picked off right there. Kind of like his was early. I mean, and Pat P picked it off. Same same concept there. Just throwing a little bit early. He was able to pick it off. Bad, bad interception, but still up 10 points. And we just scream at him there. Right there, Milton, salary cap, budget beast, 15 cap. I got clipped on my D tackle right here, and it's Sealer. Sealer is another salary cap goon. You guys got to have on your team. Get to a 4th and 11. Send the pressure. And guess who? Khalil Mack. Fast enough to catch Michael Vick. That's why I love him. That's why he's on my team right now. Really fast. Really good for his budget. And once again, we're able to hit a curl again here. Kind of bluff scrambled again. He chased after Vick. And I was able to throw the ball high over there to Tyreek Hill. So now the game's over. I mean, we're up 17 points right now. Three minutes left. Just make him run some time. I mean, he hasn't done anything for us since his first drive. Khalil Mack has been all over him. Right there, he throws in a flat. Milton Milton had a sack. He doesn't want to pick six. Sending the dogs again at him. This time, it's Clowney around the edge. That's their speed, man. Not only do you want great rushers, I love speed in my rusher because they're able to disengage and then go get Michael Vick. Ramsey, Julio Jones, Ramsey can't strip the ball out. There he goes, running the nation's verticals but pat pete not only does he make plays in the passing game and then make picks but he can also hit stick right there you see him with a huge hit on the uh wide receiver making him drop the ball 
go throws a little slant there. No big plays. I just want the I just want the game to be over. I just want this game ran out. I just want the clock ran out. So I'm no big plays. Let him catch the ball, cat tackle him in bounds all over. I'm up 17 points right now. He throws a nice little cute dot over here to Ted Ginn. Tackle him over there with B Dock. Next play throws the wheel route over here to Steve Smith. Tackle him in bounds, but nope, he gets out of bounds. Here he goes running the ball. Every run is going to probably be 15 seconds off the clock. That's fine. We send the spy right here with more. Not only does he not have incomplete, that's a sack, so the clock is still running. Those a curl over here, drops it. Gets to a fourth and goal. He runs the nation's verticals. Nice job on the ball right there. Pat Pete needs to make that play. Delaney Walker makes it for him there. We go up top, try to end the game, try to make him quick, get out of here. It's 50 seconds left. You're down 10. Tiger Hill doesn't come down with it. Here we go with that man, Philip Dorsett, again. Making a tough catch, running the clock out. And that's pretty much going to do the game. I mean, the next play, I just sit here in the pocket. All day, run the clock out. The game's over. So this was a great game. All about, you know, just adjusting. The first drive, he went down the field fairly easily. And he definitely uh, was able to get the points on the board fairly quickly. But... Made some adjustments, allowed my DNs, and that's one thing you got to learn from this game, man. I love the DNs with the speed. Clowney and Mack are the ones that go get the quarterback. They can catch Vic. You know, obviously, I love the Reggie Weiss, even TJ, or uh, whatchamacallit, JJ Watt. Those are great players, but, you know, I really like the guys with speed that can go get the quarterback after they disengage from the blockers. And you see Khalil Mack had a huge game for me this one. Pretty much was the main defense that I had throughout the game was Khalil Mack. And just use my use my playmakers as best I can, whether it's Vic, Gurley, Tyreek Hill, Philip Dorsett, or Moss. They all made some plays for me. So if you like this gameplay video, you want to see some more salary cap, man, hit that like button and hit the sub button. I appreciate y'all.